This is the Speedy B Mario 5 frame kit that I reviewed last week. And I just couldn't wait to get it built up with some motors and a stack because the weather is looking very promising. I'm hoping to be able to get out and do some test flights with this. And I think you'll agree, it looks utterly fantastic. Let's see what components I used to build this up. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Blow channel. there we have it in all its spectacular glory and this really is a very rugged feeling frame I don't think this is going to break very easily and it feels incredibly stiff and I think a lot of that is down to the way that you've got these interlocking arms in here and these plates down there which stop this movement any resonance that way so I think that's quite a neat little feature and you can see through here is the space for the low ESR capacitor, noise suppression capacitor, which fits in there quite nicely. I think you can probably see it. And I'll put some images that I did while I was building this so you can get a closer look at what's going on. It's all soft mounted. And then in the back here, there's the O3 air unit, which fits in, well, you can't see it. There's four screws again you can reach those through the holes in the bottom frame and I had a couple of questions about what other VTXs could fit in here and somebody asked me specifically what size so we measure this the space there is about 40 43 long and you could get something in wide but so realistically 35 millimeters wide and this is about 23 millimeters deep. So there's plenty of room to get whatever VTX you want to fit in there. I guess, you know, you're going to get walk snail or something like that in there as well as O3 or the original O3, the, sorry, the original DJI Air unit and pretty much any analog VTX that you might want to use in here. And this arrangement at the back is very neat. So I've got the cables for the battery running down under here. They run underneath between this frame here and up to connection on the connection on the 4-in-1 ESC, which works very nicely. The I've got an Express LRS RP3, that's a Radio Master RP3 diversity receiver in there. And as you can see, I've got these diversity antennas mounted at 90 degrees, 90 degrees ish and you can use those mounting holes. I've just hot glued those in to stop them twiddling around. And the O3 air unit antenna fits up through the back very nicely. It's quite a nice arrangement, this. Uh, up front, you can see we've got the O3 camera. This is an integral part of the frame for mounting a GoPro, whatever camera you like. You've got this little bumper at the front, very nice. And I think that's it. Oh, I've got a Vifly, um, uh, drone finder in there which means there's plenty of space in there actually normally that's quite a difficult thing to fit so motors I'm using my favorite combination I just can't move away from this because I love them so much they they suit my style of flying so I'm not a full out and out acro pilot I'm not a racer I like to cruise and these are Zing 2207s and I'm using the Essex ethics S3 watermelon 5031 props. They just suit my style of flying, which I think is pretty good. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Wiring fits in very neatly. These sort of protectors, well, not protectors, they're for directing airflow down through the side. They look fantastic. Mm, not convinced they're going to work. Oh, and I swapped out the buffers, sorry, the feet that came with this, which were injection molded. These were the ones that were off my Speedy B Master 5 HD. I think they look a lot nicer. So I think that's all pretty good. Oh, one thing. Um, if I connect a battery up to this. That 
that's the whole point of having that translucent thing at the bottom. You can see the status of the LEDs on your receiver. That is a neat feature, you know when you're bound. Let's just turn that off. My Bifly Bluzzer. Bluzzer? What the hell's a bluzzer? There we go. Right. So I just need to get some goggles, get a battery strapped on. I've done a quick test in the garden to make sure that this flies okay and is not doing anything horrible. Let's get out in the field. So I put two packs through this now and I've got a tune that I'm pretty happy with. And tuning this with the SpeedyB app was very straightforward. And I'll leave links to my PIDs and rates in the video description. So what do I think about this Mario 5 frame? I really, really like it. It looks fantastic. It's really well made. It's very robust and very stiff. It's great fun to fly. And it's only $34, so I don't think there's much else you could ask for. If you like this video, why not give me a thumbs up? And I'd love to hear what you think about this in the comments below. And if you're new here, why not subscribe for more videos like this? I've got one more pack to fly, the infamous last pack. So we'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Russian Idol.